Hello Year 3, it is Miss Wilkinson here. Welcome to your first RE lesson online. I hope you're all doing well. Um, last half term you were learning about Hinduism with Mr Harrell. I am going to continue to teach you about Hinduism over the next few weeks. So our key question today is what do Hindus believe about God? And your learning objective is to understand the tri-merti. I want you to repeat that with me three times once I've counted down. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Tri-merti, tri-merti, tri-merti. Now I want you to try and remember that. It is important. I've highlighted part of the word. I've highlighted tri. I want you to think now of a shape that begins with tri. Hopefully, a triangle came straight to mind. I'm going to show you two other pictures that also begin with tri. We have a tripod and a tricycle. Have a look at the three pictures. What do they have in common? What is similar? Now, a triangle has three sides. A tripod has three legs and a tricycle has three wheels. So it is going to be important today that we remember the number three for the Trimurti. Now, the main Hindu god is one called Brahman. And to understand Brahman, I want you to first of all think about water. Where do you find water? How many different forms can you think of that water can become? I just want you to pause me for a minute and write a list of where you find water, uh, what it looks like and what it can become. OK, I'm going to show you a few um, of the things that I'd come up with. A puddle, water could be found outside, ice, condensation on the windows, water droplets, a river, it could be streams or the sea or the ocean. Water from the tap and steam. Now, water can be lots of different things in lots of different places all of the time. And it's important when thinking about Brahman that you remember that it can become different, the God can become different forms. Now, if I've, I've popped water in the middle of this triangle here, um, we've used a triangle because of the number three, right? Uh, now, water can be in the form of a liquid. It can be a solid in the form of ice. And it also can be steam. Um, but all of those things are still water. They just look a different way um, and feel a different way. Now, the Trimurti make up Brahman. And I want you to think just like we've done there with water, ice and steam. Brahman has three different forms. One of the forms is Lord Vishnu, and she is the preserver. One of the forms is Lord Shiva, the destructor. And another of the forms is, the main form is Lord Brahma, which is the creator. The first of the three deities they're called deities which make up uh, the god Brahman, is Lord Brahma. And he is the creator of all of the universe and all of the knowledge. So Hindus believe uh, that Lord Brahma created everything in the universe and everything that you know. Um, Lord Brahma grew inside a lotus flower. I've popped a picture on there from the navel of a sleeping Vishnu. Vishnu is another Hindu god. Um, 
um, that we will learn about later on in the half term. A navel is a belly button. So Lord Brahma grew inside of a flower from a belly button. Um, he has four heads. And Saraswati is his goddess companion. The second person is Lord Vishnu. And Lord Vishnu is the preserver. Um, keeps everything well, everything clean, looks after everything. It takes care of everything. Um, he has four arms to represent the four corners of the world. And he, Hindus believe that he has saved his followers by appearing to them in other forms. I'm, I'm going to read a story to you um, in the next couple of weeks about Lord Vishnu, who, if you look at the picture on the bottom right hand side, that's Lord Vishnu, another representation of Lord Vishnu in the middle. And around the outside are the different forms that um, he created. A little bit like a, sh uh, a shapeshifter, becomes other, th other things. Lord Shiva is the destructor um, who destroys the universe so that new light can come again. So anything that um, anything that dies, that is Lord Shiva or Hindus believe that that is Lord Shiva um, so that new life can become again. And it restores the balance between good and evil. Now your task today is to match the statements to the correct deity, which these three are, within the god of Brahman. So I've popped them on here. We've got the creator of the universe and all knowledge. Um, now, I would match that knowingly to this god here. Grew inside the navel of a sleeping Vishnu, which God grew inside the navel. I want you to please uh, write these statements or if you go back, if either in your home learning book, you can write the statements, write the name of each God, each deity and pop these, write the statements underneath or go back onto teams where you can um, move them around on there. So that is task number one. Task number two is to design your own God or your own deity and give your God a power that would help people or the world that we live in. So it has to be something good and something positive. Um, I will look forward to all of your creations. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Bye, everybody.